Well, happy Tuesday, you guys. And today we are doing a bread video together. Um, I am going to be making some really soft, tender um, butter rolls for dinner. I'm making homemade spaghetti uh, with spaghetti sauce, and um, I thought that the family would love some soft rolls. I'm also doing this video because I made these rolls for Thanksgiving and posted a picture of it, and many of you were interested in the recipe. I shared that recipe over on my Facebook page, but I figured, ah, you know what, I'll do a video, and um, I'll also post the recipe down in the description box since I already have it um, pretty much written out. Um, and so I thought you guys would really enjoy this. These rolls are perfect for Christmas coming up, especially if you're doing like um, turkey sandwiches or um, honey baked ham sandwiches. You wanna serve a roll with them, you wanna make sandwiches with them. Um, if you're doing like a hot dinner, they're perfect. So I love these rolls. These are my go-to rolls when you want something really soft, really tender, and really buttery. So, all right, super easy to make, you guys. All right, let's we go. are gonna start with one and a half cups of warm water. To this, we're gonna go ahead and add two teaspoons of instant yeast. We are also going to be adding three tablespoons of sugar. So it's buttery and a bit sweet. Next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna be adding three cups of a bread flour. And then to this, we're also going to be adding a quarter cup of potato flakes, instant potato flakes. This is why I buy potato flakes, because I love it in bread. It makes it so soft and so tender. We are also going to be adding a quarter cup of milk powder to this. We are also going to be adding four tablespoons of softened butter. I'm also adding to this one egg. Again, it just adds to the softness. And then we're gonna add one and a quarter teaspoons, or I'm just gonna use one heaping uh, teaspoon of sea salt. Don't forget the salt, otherwise your bread will kind of taste tasteless. <laughs> okay, and that's it. So, let me get over here, let's lift this up, and let's get this mixed up. Now if I need to add a little bit more um, flour to this, I will. Um, my kitchen is pretty cold. It's snowing today. So we'll see. We'll see how this dough goes. And um, see if we need to add a tad bit more or not. So you never know how much uh, flour you're actually gonna need until you make it. And every time you make it, it's gonna be different. So just watch it and follow it. And that is looking really good to me. So I'm gonna go ahead and start my timer and I'm gonna let this knead for five minutes. And then I will bring you guys back um, and we'll do the first rise on this. Okay, so hopefully you guys can see. All right, Shay, don't be worried about me. And my husband, <laughs> she, she noticed I wasn't wearing my rings in one of my, uh, I think it was in the, uh, uh, she's a longtime subscriber of mine. I love and adore her. She's amazing. And uh, she was like, I'm not seeing the bling. <laughs> I take it off when I'm working with dough because one, I don't like having to clean dough out of my stones. And two, somebody had posted to me once that, Rings hold a lot of bacteria, it, even if they're clean, which I clean mine every single day. Um, and ever since then, it freaked me out. And so I really try not to, I mean, it's one thing if I'm canning and I'm not touching the food or the product, but when I'm doing dough, I'm just freaked out now. <laughs> Thanks a lot, whoever left me that comment, because now I can't wear my rings when I'm playing with dough. So anyway, all right, so we're gonna just roll this into a nice ball, okay? 
Make sure your counter is nice and clean. And then I have to wipe it down too because it always leaves like dough residue. So I just like to form it in a nice ball. And then we're gonna just flip that over. Look at that. How pretty. Isn't that pretty? All right, so then we're gonna take our bowl. All right, and you can see inside of the bowl, pretty clean, pretty clean. We're just gonna put some olive oil in here. I use um, an organic extra virgin olive oil. And then we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna put our dough ball in. We're gonna kind of spin it and then we're gonna flip it, okay? And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get a warm, wet tea towel. So let me grab do is run it under hot water and then I just wring it out really well. And then I just lay it over my bowl. Now I'm gonna place mine in my oven with the light on on the proof setting. Um, you can, if you have an Excalibur um, dehydrator, you can set it in there to proof. You can also, if you have under cabinet lighting like I do, thank you Home Depot, you can set it under a light. Um, or you can just turn on your oven for like seriously a minute or two just to kind of take the chill out of it and warm it up a little bit. Then turn it off, turn your oven light on, and then put your bowl right in your oven like that. So, um, you know, however you want to, you know, as long as it's not in a drafty area, like I said, my, you know, it's snowing outside. I live in Michigan, you know, the northern part of Michigan. Um, I just don't want this to get a draft. And so I am putting mine in the oven. Um, I have a proof option on my, on my range. So um, I have it set to that. I'm going to put this in for one hour. And we're gonna come back. We're gonna punch it down. Duh. We're gonna. We're gonna. I can. Words are hard today, Heather. We can. We're gonna punch it down. We're gonna make rolls, dinner rolls. You know, you can make these rolls as big or as little as you want. You can double this recipe if you need more. If you're cooking for for a crowd, um, especially in the holidays. So totally up to you. Um, and then we're gonna form rolls. I'm gonna make them dinner size, kind of small, and then. We're gonna um, let them rise one more time and then bake them. So in the uh, oven to proof for an hour and I will be back and uh, I'll show you the All next right, step. All right guys, there goes my timer. So let's get you set up here. Okay. <laughs> and you might hear our new puppy. <laughs> he has found his uh, reflection in the stand up mirror in my bedroom and likes to bark at it. <laughs> So here's our dough, and we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna punch this down. Nina's in there playing with him. We had decided on the name Getty Lee after Matt's favorite uh, musician um, from Rush. Except <laughs> anyway, all right, so we're gonna pat this out. I'm gonna kind of square this up a little bit. If you can see that, I'm gonna tuck you back a little bit. Here we go. And. Then we're gonna cut this up and divide it. Now, depending on how big you want your rolls, will depend on how how big you know or how little you're going to make them. So, let's go ahead and cut this. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and cut this in half. Okay, and we're gonna cut it in half again, in half again, and again. I'm not a professional bread baker. <laughs> People are like, ah, she didn't weigh them. <laughs> nope, because I'm just making dinner rolls. It ain't that deep for me. So if you want to weigh your rolls out and make them perfectly even, you go ahead and do that. Whatever floats your boat. To me, I got a lot of stuff to do. I got to make lunch here in a minute. Then we are going back downstairs to homeschool. I got a puppy to take care of. I really don't. It's just not that it's just not that important to me so here we go um, odd shape here all I'm gonna do is I'm tucking I'm tucking all of the corners and all the sides in let me see I'm gonna aim you down a little bit so you can see so I kind of just pull up and pull up and pull up until I get a nice dough ball formed okay and then roll it with my hand I kind of Let's see if you can see us a little bit better. Kind of cup my hand and roll. Okay. And then when I get a nice little ball formed, I call it good, and I'm gonna put it on my um, cookie sheet. So, 
Same thing with this. I'm gonna go ahead and tuck in all the corners. Tuck and pull, tuck and pull, tuck and pull until I get a nice little dough ball formed. And then cut my hand, roll. Nice little ball formed and that's it. All right. So I'm gonna keep going and get all of these made and then um, then we're gonna let these rise again but I will bring you back when I get to that point okay okay so here are all of our rolls so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna um, heat this back up again with some warm water I'm just gonna water. hit these rolls with um, some olive oil spray so they don't dry out and then we're going to put a towel on these. These are going to rise for another hour. And then we are going to then preheat our oven to 350 where we're going to bake these for about 25 to 30 minutes. Um, so I will bring you back in an hour when we put these in. So it's been an hour. So we're going to take the stamp towel off. And there you go. Now, at this point, if you wanted to, you could do um, an egg white wash and um, hit this with an egg white wash and you could put everything bagel seasoning topping on top or poppy seed or sesame seed if you wanted to dress them up that way. Um, you can also do a like a teaspoon of sugar in some warm water and top them with a little bit of sugar water. That gives it a nice kind of like golden crust. It's totally up to you on what you wanna do. You can just leave them plain. So I'm gonna leave mine plain and uh because we're having ours with spaghetti so um i'm gonna put this in a 350 degree oven i have it on convection oven um but you don't need to uh 350 either way and i'm gonna bake these for 25 to 30 minutes until they're lightly golden brown and they sound hollow when you flick them <laughs> so i will bring you back when i pull these pretties out of the All right oven. these beauties just came out and now i'm going to take some butter right here and i'm going to just go ahead and coat these with some butter before i put them on cooling racks oh my house smells so good right now <laughs> I'll let one cool off enough where we can cut into one so you can just see the insides of them. Okay, there they are, all buttered and beautiful. So now what I'm gonna do is just kinda, my spatula has like a little, um, little, I don't know, I don't wanna say a blade, but kind of a cut end to it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna separate these and I'm gonna put them on a cooling rack so that they can sit and cool. Look at that. Ugh, so good, right? <laughs> I know that was probably sideways for you, sorry guys. Okay, so I'm going to get these separated and get them on the racks. And then I will bring you guys back when we cut into one, the kids have already been up here saying, please, can we have a roll? <laughs> so as you see, um, these are dinner roll size. I mean, about the size of the palm of my hand. If you wanted to make them bigger, you could. If you want to, um, you can make these the size of a hamburger bun if you wanted to and use them as hamburger buns. This is a 101 bread recipe in the King Arthur um, flour bread book and then I just went ahead and added the potato flake to it and I added the egg to it so all right there we go look at that so I'm going to take a picture for Instagram and Facebook so you guys know that this video is on its way and it's coming and then I'm gonna get a plate and we are gonna cut into right. one so I'm just 
smooth that over for a little bit. And then let me, well, let's, I'm going to kind of pick a smaller one. Um, let's pick this one. This one's a small one. All right. I'll take a small one. And I just want to kind of show you guys. Let's see. Hold on. Let me turn on the big light. My lighting is terrible. Okay, can you see better? I think you can see better. All right, so let's get you closer here. So I want to show you how absolutely like tender and squishy and soft these are. They're, they're so they're not like a crusty roll. This is definitely a soft roll. Okay, so let me get my bread knife here. And then I'm just gonna go ahead, now these are still warm. So, there we go. Look at that. So, that, there we go. So, let's see. Hopefully, come on, you stay focused now with me. My camera's getting so old. <laughs> There we go. See how soft that is? It's so soft. And it's just a really tender roll. It really is. So it is definitely one that you could rip out the center, clotch it. It's very clotchy. Of course, it is still on the warm side too, but it is, it's, the perfect dinner roll. So anytime I'm making dinner rolls or um, bread rolls for sandwiches, because you can, I'm kind of too big of a bread knife this one is. I don't know where my smaller one is, but if you wanted to cut this, as you see, in half, you could definitely make sandwiches out of this or use it as a hamburger bun. You see the crumb, it's delicious. So. I am not going to eat any because, you know, I'm going to eat one with my dinner because it's all about moderation, but I'm not going to eat one now, but I'm going to give this to the kids because they will eat it. <laughs> but I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you give these a try. Let me know if you do. Um, and better yet, if you are a content creator here on YouTube, make me a video reply. I love video replies. And, um, yeah, with that, I'm going to wrap this up and we're going to go homeschool and then I got to make dinner. <laughs> All right, guys, I will be seeing you soon. Bye, guys.